Okay, so this is a very quick look at um, a fake fidget cube. This arrived this morning from China. Um, it came via express delivery, which I was really surprised by because the thing only cost, I think, $6 plus $3 for postage. Um, and it arrived four days after it was ordered, so that's pretty incredible in itself. Um, you can see the date today is 17th November 2016. I am here in the United Kingdom. Here's some um, posts that came today for me. Um, and this is the packaging it came in. Um, it's a nice sturdy box, solid, looks nice. It's got all the functions listed on the side. It's got the colour marking on the top. This is a black cube. Um, it's quite a nice design, little package. Uh, we'll open it up. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. There we go. And here we go. This is the first look in the UK of a fake fidget. Um, like I said, this was $6 uh, from China. It's made, it's definitely made from vinyl. Um, it's got a really nice feel to it. Um, let's check out a joystick on it. Joystick's nice. It's got a good bit of feedback. It's nice to hold in your hand and move around. That's cool. Also springs back nicely. That's quite a cool feature. Um, on the top, we've got the distinctive switch that we've seen in all the fidget. Uh, photos and videos etc um, well, again nice bit of feedback on that switch you can do it silently or you can do it so it clicks that's quite cool um, this side we've got a scroll wheel that's definitely mounted on a bearing um, it's nice and smooth but again still gives you enough feedback that you know you're turning it that's quite cool um there's the worry cube edge again the casing's really nice vinyl um and it feels really nice to sort of you know scratch away your worries there um the distinctive front side which is kind of the iconic fidget cube and fake fidget um look it's got your three dials they all click nice bit of tactile feedback and they you can spin them nicely as well um, if you scroll them a bit harder. Below them is the ball bearing. As you can see, you can push it in. It's got a tactile, probably a tactile dome behind it. And it, you can spin it around and do whatever with it as well. Finally, on this side, you've got the five buttons. Now out of these, two... Those two are silent, and the other three have got tactile domes behind them. Give you a nice bit of clicking and feedback, which is quite a nice feature. Overall, for sixteen bucks, uh, sorry, for six bucks plus three uh, dollars in postage, I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, now I know that. These are unofficial and a lot of people are frowning upon them. But to be honest, um, the people who designed the cube, Anti Labs, um, they made $6.5 million um, on a Kickstarter campaign. Um, so they've been paid up front. This isn't taking any money out of their pocket at all because they're not going to have any stock to actually sell till probably middle of next year. So, uh, to be honest, I don't see any problem with Chinese sellers knocking a thousand or so of these a day out to people that that want them for Christmas. It's a high quality item. Um, yes, it it probably breaks their patent, but as we've discovered today, looking on the patent sites, and people have pointed out that the fidget cube itself might actually be breaking another patent of someone who invented 
a similar item um, a few years ago and currently has an active pattern on it. So we'll see what happens there. Um, anyway, just a quick review. Um, overall thoughts is, you know, if if you got people that you definitely, you know, you've promised a Christmas present or one of these, then I don't think you can go wrong to maybe wait a few days, see what Ansi Labs have got to say on Kickstarter regarding the Christmas deadline. If they're not going to make it, then go on to eBay and, and buy one of these. I would recommend only buying through eBay where you've got PayPal protection. Don't buy off the Chinese websites like AliExpress or Gearbest and, and similar sites because... Um, it's so easy for the sellers on there to con you um, or the sites to, to clone your credit card details. So really avoid those. This one was ordered through eBay um, from a Chinese seller. Um, I know now here in the UK, there are people within the UK who are selling these um, for about, I think about £12, which is about 15 US dollars. Um, plus free shipping. Um, a quick look on the internet showed that in the US there's, there's similar people selling um, within the US. So domestic shipping, people that have ordered bulk amounts of of the three or four different um, kinds of fake fidgets that are out there. Um, I know some are horrible quality, but this is obviously one of the high quality ones. Um so yeah, buy from eBay, try and buy only from a domestic seller. Make sure you check the postage details on the eBay listing um, to prove that, you know, to show where it is shipping from. Um, it should, you know, if you click on the postage listing, it will say, you know, United shipping from United Kingdom, shipping from Germany, shipping from United States. If it says shipping services from outside of the United Kingdom or services from outside of the United States, then the chances are it's coming from China. Um, this one was in fact ordered from China. The same day I also ordered one from the UK. Um, that one hasn't turned up, although the seller says it's in the post today and should be with me tomorrow. That's a different model fidget. Um, and we'll see if that's of better quality or similar quality or or worse. Um, but this one, I mean, for six bucks, I think that's bloody awesome. Um, it shows how how cheap these things must be asked to produce, and so it slightly peeves me. I had to pay thirty eight bucks um, to get an official fidget from Kickstarter um, because you know being. Eighteen dollars for for um you know the cube or nineteen dollars sorry for the cube and nineteen dollars for the postage um, that's a that's a fair wedge um, and to be honest I don't think they're going to be much better than these maybe the functions will be a little more refined anyway um, that's a very quick look at a fake fidget. Um, hope it's answered a few questions uh one quick thing i'll just thought about um the joint lines where the two parts of the vinyl join up um this is something i've come on, commented on before where it would probably be a problem on cheaper fake fidgets this one it all lines up pretty well um vinyl is quite hard material to work with um compared to plastics like abs um now features themselves, I mean obviously the rollers there um, are ABS, switch is ABS, the, the joystick's ABS and the dial's ABS. But the rest of it is vinyl like I say and it's got a very nice finish to it. And the joints match up nicely, it's got a nice feel to it. You can hold it in your hand, you can you know, fidget discreetly. Um, it's a pretty cool little item. So thanks for watching. Um, when I get the other version in from the UK I will post a similar video um, and give you an impartial review on that thanks for watching uh, take care have a great day